Hey everybody, welcome to this commentary playing mid lane of Vladimir versus Rum or I mean uh Galio this game. Galio with Ignite and he has Electrocute too, so really like all any type Galio. Don't really see that that often to be honest. Um <clears throat> Honestly not the best Vlad player, but it just felt like if I can just play Vlad somewhat well versus this team comp, I think it's just an automatic win. As long as, like, nobody's super fucking fed, of course. Like, if somebody's super, super fed, then it, it could be pretty difficult. But, um, if everybody goes even, and I make, like, two or three items, I don't see how we can lose. Our, our team comp is nuts. So, that's why I picked this champion. Because my scaling is absolutely insane. Galio is a... I would say he's a more... Like, if I die, then I made a huge mistake. It's not like a playing versus Cinder or something. Um, where I should actually be pressured... So, I would say, like, it's a free lane, basically. Yeah, I was gonna queue that minion. I think I couldn't get both at the same time, so... Oh. Damn, bro. I'm gonna have to burn my flash or something here. Jesus Christ, dude. That was pretty... I wonder if they're duo here and they do that often. Honestly, I could have probably just flashed downward, but... I mean, it all worked out, right? Jesus, dude. The level 2 Lee Sin gank with W. It's actually really scary, dude, because Galio is just sitting on top of me, and then he can just safeguard to him and catch back up. But they have no way to crowd control me, which is why I didn't really, like, flash away or anything. Like, earlier, at least. Okay, this is shoving in all the way, so I think this is actually going to be a good reset, just to heal up and, you know, maybe buy one item or something. Go, probably protobolt this game. I'm going to sell this and buy a refillable too, might as well. It's more cost efficient. Top lane's losing, of course, like the rumble's losing, because that's absolutely disgusting early game. Played against set mid, basically impossible to do anything versus him. It was really gross. Oh wow, I actually got that. Damn, I actually missed all of those. What? Why is Lisa in mid? really don't want to leave lane right now. Well, whatever. They're gonna fight Galio too. He's gonna be up there soon. He's really slow though, so... <laughs> I don't even know if he can catch Set here. Or even kill Set, to be honest. Set probably has his W here. He definitely has Ignite though, which could be an issue. Because my Ignite... Oh wait, did I never just use my Ignite? Or is my Ignite back up? God damn it, dude. Let's just heal back up to full off minions, I guess. Set's just gonna dominate everybody topside, so. Yeah, like, literally broken champion. But, like, I bet that freaking Galio is trying to fight him, which is, like, the mistake. <laughs> he should have just left. I don't know what he's trying to do. I could maybe roam bot here. Is this warded? No. Hmm. Oh, he's gone, dude.
I can heal back up fine. Only risk is getting ganked by Lee Sin. While Galio tries to like one-shot me. Through crowd control, that is. Put a ward bot side, just so I have both lanes covered, or both sides covered, I mean. You see where Lee Sin is. I wonder if I could have all end him there. I might have been able to with my ulti plus ignite, and then just wait for his, and one more Q after that one. But if he just eat away, then probably would be pretty difficult. He just ultis away. <laughs> Fine, whatever, dude. He was gonna die there. One more Kyo. I still had pool ready, like, if he was trying to turn, too. Oh, nice. Nice. He actually died to red buff there. I'll take it, dude. I knew Rengar could get the kill as long as I got Lee Sin a little bit more chunked, just based off of like where Rengar was and Lee Sin. I knew that he was within jump range. Okay, let's just leave. I'm probably gonna miss a wave or something, and this guy probably is gonna chase me down all the way to make sure I have to like reset really far away, so it takes even more time, but... I can have a full proto belt now. That feels so nice, actually. Dude, I am so cold, by the way. Like, I don't know if it looks like I'm clicking less than usual, but my hands are actually freezing. Literally freezing. Okay, so all I want to do now, I think, is just transition my lead into another lane. Most likely bot lane. Most likely top lane, actually. I take it back. <laughs> Okay, I could maybe help this guy, like, out to make sure he doesn't just get one shot here. Oh. Am I walking over a ward right now? I might be. I just want to make sure he doesn't get dope. Okay, he's fine. I'm just gonna go back then. I'm gonna move my pink bot side. I know it was just top side there, but I think I want to just roam bot. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, I hit him. Oh, nice. Botlane's winning, too. Okay, never mind. Dude, I keep on jinxing it by looking down. I just shouldn't look at bot anymore. I'm fine with this. You can harass me all you want. I'm fine with walking into his abilities because I can poke him down much easier. I can always heal back up too. And I finally got boots. Even if I get ganked, I'm pretty sure I can't even die. I can make him miss so much CS just by shoving him in constantly. These things here. I'll play towards my Rengar here, just in case I get ganked. I'm 
I'm trying to make him E on me. But he won't. Okay, at least an Ashley Roam bot. Oh. Damn, bro. Oh, wait. They actually didn't die? Mm, man, Galio's gonna be here soon, which is kind of rough. Uh, yeah. This is not looking very good. I knew that that was gonna go bad. I think we just need a not help bot. <laughs> Unless we know that nobody else can come. I should have also not even won in. That was so dumb. Like, I should just let my teammates just in and I'll just survive and push mid or something. Or, like, I can also, I guess, try to turn on Galio or something, too. It's so whatever. As long as I reach, like, three items, I can carry the game. Top lane's still doing fine. Bot lane's the only one that's, like, literally inting right now. Never seen these names before. I wonder if they're duo. I know that this guy's an LCS player. LCS support. Oh. You better not pop that mid, bro. Varys has no magic resist whatsoever. What to do? I know that we want to get this dragon. This guy's worth so much money. I'm just gonna flash for it. I knew he was worth a thousand gold. I don't care if Ringer was gonna try to take it. He's already fed. I, I don't feel like I'm fed enough, so. What is this? I'm just gonna go mid, man. I feel like just running after them is a waste of time. Okay, actually, maybe they need me for that, so I'll come over. Just in case Lisa tries to steal it or something. Uh, I'm just gonna shove mid real fast and then probably let Triss take over and I'll go buy it, I'm guessing. It's probably best. I'll just go versus Galio, I can fight him easily. What do I want to go next? I'm gonna try going Spellbinder. The movement speed is kind of nice and I just want a ton of AP at this point. After Spellbinder I'll probably go Zanya's and then I'll go... I don't really need Morellos. They don't really have that much healing. Like, this doesn't heal that much. So I'm not really worried about that. Probably Deathcap after. Allows me to one-shot these two. I don't know if I could do that if I was, like, going Seekers or something. So I can just hit bot here. I'm just worried about my mid lane dying. Okay, they are dead, unfortunately. Oh, maybe not. Damn, the Lee is actually overextending so hard here. Oh wow, my Q didn't go off there. It's fine. Even if I lose trades, I want to make it so I can get him low. Okay, he's dead. That was pretty random. 
By the way, you can, uh, like, I know every single Vlad player should know this, but if you've never played Vlad before, your E makes it so it stalls very slowly your Q. So you see how it decays? Your E actually slows it down. It doesn't stop it, but it slows it down. So when I went up to him here, I actually empowered Q him because he thought it just expired. So it kind of, like, tricked him. He thought that it was actually down. I'm just gonna go for more Buck Lee Sin, dude. That guy is so hard to catch. Oh. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go buy my item. I'm, I'm like 1v9 status at this point. If I just hit like a 3-man ulti, it's over. I guess worst case scenario, like, oh. I got one shot or something. I would say probably worst case scenario would be getting hit by Morgana and uh, this guy's binding. If I get snared by them and can't move, I could get kited. I'm gonna go death cap next. I'm gonna spam my E now, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm spamming my E, is for my spellbinder stacks. Oh crap, I have two items and I'm about to build Sonya's eventually too. Dang. I'm really bad when I have three items. This guy has no flash. I could probably just ulti and run at him. If he continues pushing, that is. But he should just back off here. What's my CDR? 32%. Oh. Okay. I'm guessing Morgan and Varys are literally coming top right now, so I'm not gonna like chase him down. I don't know where they are. Oh, okay, they actually went bot side. Wait, we can fight this. This is so free. I don't even have to use my thingy, my pool. Okay. Wait, I activated my pool. Then what kill me? Does the Q still go through? I don't think it does. Maybe I activated it too late? I'm gonna blame ping on that, dude. If I had 10 ping, 100% I activated in time. Unless Lee Sin Q actually goes through it, then I'm just dumb. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't, and it went on cooldown, so that, that does mean I used it. Who got the shutdown? Oh, Lee Sin got it. That's fine, whatever. I'm not really worried about him. Ah, uh, Lisa knows. All those sets just ending. Oh, oh, hit the regen. Oh, never mind. Thing was he worth a lot? No, he probably wasn't worth anything. Okay, cool. Could be worse. This guy is flash here. It's actually really good that he used flash. So easy to win a team fight now. We can just do Baron right after. Oh nice, I'm level 13 too, so I have level 5 E, which is one of Vlad's strongest abilities to be honest, because it's on such a short cooldown. You'll probably chase down this rumble. I don't even need to use my thing. My pool. It deals no damage. That's one thing I think that, like, when watching Vlad players, I think the best Vlad players hold onto their pool and actually use it at the correct moment. Sometimes people just go in and just use it ho however they want. Hmm. I was looking for a Q there, but whatever. I could have, like, went for an outplay, maybe. Like, if I flash Q'd the, the person, but 
It probably would have not really amounted to much because my entire team is doing their own thing. Like, they're pushing other lanes. So, like, even if I killed him, no objective would have been taken. And I would lose my flash for, like, maybe a fight that could win us Baron or something. So it's probably best that I actually didn't use it. Oh, whatever. I did it. I killed them. <laughs> They're dead. We should be able to do Baron now, no? Oh, wait. Set died. Damn. That wasn't even good. If I, if I survived from Morgana, then it would have been good. Also, if this guy didn't have red buff, I would have killed both so much easier. Red buff actually deals so much damage. It did more than Ignite. I'm so close to my item. I'm not playing, like, super, like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking, like, 1v9. Uh, like, we're already winning so hard that I, like, kind of, like, limit testing. Because, honestly, I I don't ever play Vlad. This is probably the first time i played Vlad in, like, I don't know, months? Like, two months or something? So. But he actually is fun when you're fed. And I don't get fed that often, so it's kind of fun, like, to see how much I could do. In, like, 1v2 and 1v3 scenarios. And see how much damage I can deal. Because it's so funny, like, watching people think that they got me and then I turn around and hit them for like a 700 damage Q. Okay, back to top lane I go. I think that the way that we're gonna win this game is through just one good flank. So that's why I keep on going to side lane because that allows me to run to mid through flank. But I probably need to buy, like, I don't know, a sweeper or something, maybe? Would make it so I actually can get behind everybody easier, I guess? Because right now it feels like I'm just kind of, like, split pushing, and then I run through vision and they know where I'm at. Okay, well, my team's just gonna win without me. Feels bad, man. I wanted to be part of this, too. Oh, wait, I can still be a part of this. Am I dead? Okay, no, I'm not. Cool. It was a minion. Feels good, man. Did I chunk everyone hard enough that we kill them? <gasps> no, I'm dead now. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I'm not dead. Wow. Did I live from an ocean dragon tick? I'm pretty sure I did. Because I randomly got healed. A very small amount, like fleet footwork, but obviously I don't have fleet, so... Okay, we can just go grab this other one. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't gotten that flank that I want. Hmm. I don't like this. This guy also can just slow me, which I'm kind of afraid of. Do 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 do. And dude, I wanted to get one more Q off of something. No! Oh my God! I actually died to that. Oh, we stole Baron. I guess my team's just gonna one v nine. Meanwhile, I just and. All right, that's definitely the moment where I needed to press W at the same time I'm, as I'm using my E. And I literally would have probably popped off. I mean, I think I would have died no matter what, but I would have at least killed more. Maybe a very, very, very slim chance of me surviving because I don't have stopwatch or anything. So after using pool and going and I would have just died afterwards. Oh my gosh, he survived. Dude, that's slow. That slow is actually insane. 
Okay, cool. I have 40% CDR now. All I need to do now is just make sure that I use my Zanya's key because that's actually a struggle for me. <laughs> actually a struggle. I haven't had my big play yet. I feel bad. I'm playing like shit? Yeah. Yeah, fucking Tristana making this game so hard. Agreed. Hey, I used my pool that time. We did it. Wait, did Rumble not die? That's troll. Whatever, stack back up my Spellbinder for the next fight. I'm almost 16, too, which would be kind of nice to get. I'm gonna go bot here with Set. The Ringer is splitting top. I did it! Wow, they just like were running straight at me. That was really dumb of them. <laughs> I was like, are they actually just gonna keep on chasing me? Do they realize who, who I am? <laughs> Do they realize how much damage I deal? I don't think they realized. Wait, my Q didn't even go off there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary about why I picked Vlad and I guess like what you should expect on Vlad. I mean, basically you just farm out lane. This was like such a free lane, so honestly I wasn't like trying to kill him or anything because it was pretty difficult to uh, before first item because I, I literally stayed in lane t for a full buy on something, so. But yeah, I mean I literally picked this champion I did most damage somehow, dang. I literally picked the champion just because I knew that I could 1v9 if I just don't int. Like, inside all of those team fights later game, even if it didn't immediately go like that, it would have still, like, went our way. If this game was more even and it wasn't, like, so stompy, I still think that I would be able to, like, hit a three-man ulti, kill Varus, and then we just win the game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.